If you blow up your sleeping pad with your breath, does that introduce moisture and encourage the growth of mold? This one's 30 years old almost, so let's find out. There are plenty of people online and in real life who say not to do this. The risk of mold, however you spell it, has become the new orthodoxy, so you use an electric pump or a pump bag. In a recent backpacking video, I had the temerity to question this. I have yet to see any evidence of that whatsoever. Anyway, I'm still using a bag because it's quicker. I was challenged on that. And I thought, well, the only way to know for sure is to cut one open and look, but it can't be a new one. In the 1990s, I took part in an expedition to tackle some unclimbed peaks in Alaska. Because I'm a wimp when it comes to cold, I bought the thickest thermarest I could find. I've used it regularly since, usually to sleep in the back of a car. And this is it, almost 30 years later, and it's only ever been inflated by me blowing it up with my breath. So, if there is gonna be mold introduced by that breath, it should be really gunky in here. Here it goes. With these thermarests, as you can see, the foam is actually bonded onto the outside. So that's why I've cut right through the middle, so that if there had been any kind of black mold in there, we'd see it. Let's really cut into it. There's absolutely, there's nothing in there. It's probably overexposing, it's that bright and clean. Can you see? Nothing at all, and around the valve, Absolutely nothing. Having wrecked this thing, let's go down to the other end. Could it hide in the corners down the bottom? It's nothing. That was a perfectly good thermo rest. So part of me is really annoyed that I've wrecked it. But also part of me is really pleased because I'm now quite happy that, no, I have not been putting mold in my thermo rest by inflating it with my breath. I expect I'll get some grief for damaging this and not donating it. I felt the research was worthwhile and I can still use the leftovers as padding in the bike shed. Now let me anticipate some comments. Oh, though that's an old thermarest. The new ones have more spaces for the mold to gather. Yeah, okay, this is foam. You can really get mold in foam if you haven't looked for it, you really can. Uh, and there isn't any. Yes, you may have a point. They are a different construction now, I agree. And uh, if you'd like to cut open yours and check that, put it on YouTube and let me know. I'll be delighted to have a look at it. But I'm quite happy that there is no mold growing as a result of my breath in my thermarests. Was this useful? Please share it, comment, give me a thumbs up. It all helps to reach a wider audience and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye. <laughs>